Hi, this is Jonathan, Customer Experience Manager here at SimplyCast.com. Today we're going to talk about email authentication, why it's important, and how you can implement it. So you can see right now I'm logged into my SimplyCast account, and to access email authentication, we want to click on the email menu at the top, and then select authentication from the menu. So here we are on the email authentication page. Um, a lot of questions that we receive about email authentication are about the benefits that it has and how it can be implemented in, in your account. There's two types of authentication that you can set up in your SimplyCast account. There's SPF, or Sender Policy Framework, and DKIM, which is Domain Keys Identified Mail. And both of these authentication mechanisms are used by almost all uh, email servers to determine if messages that they're receiving are coming from a legitimate source. Since you're doing marketing through the SimplyCast platform, you're often using your own sender address, but sending through our mail system. Email authentication tells a recipient's email server that we're an authorized sender of mail from your domain. On this page here, you can see that my sender domain is simplycast.com. This is going to be different for your own account, of course, and our system will display all the different domains available to you from sender addresses that you've added. You're probably wondering how you implement this. What you need to do is actually edit the settings of your domain. So you, if you host your domain through a service such as uh, GoDaddy, for example, you need to access GoDaddy and edit the settings of your domain name through their system. So you would have to look for records called DNS records. And in those DNS records, there's a type of record called a TXT record. And this is where you'd make changes to uh, SPF, as well as DKIM, and those would be in separate TXT records. If this sounds a little bit technical, perhaps it is, I recommend contacting your mail server administrator or someone that manages your domain and having them make these changes for you. All you'll need to provide them is this line right here for SPF and this section down here for, De for DECOM. and then they'll be able to add those records. Once they've been added, uh, you can expect it to take about 24 hours before these changes take effect. And once uh, you've waited about 24 hours, you can use the check button right up here by your sender domain. And then this will tell you whether or not it's set up. And as you can see for simplycast.com here, uh, we have SPF records set up and DECOM records set up. You're probably wondering what the implications would be if you didn't set up SPF records and DECOM records. What would happen is when a recipient receives an email from our system, their server is going to look at that email and know that it came from the SimplyCast platform, but see that we're not an authorized sender for your domain. Because those records aren't set up, some email systems might be more inclined to put it in a spam folder or a bulk email folder not knowing if the source um, is legitimate or not. So this is the primary reason why I highly recommend you set up SPF and DECOM records as soon as you can to maximize your email deliverability and reach the most contacts you can. If your domain already has an SPF record set up, you just need to add our IP address range to that existing record. And you'll find that information right down here and this highlighted information here is the range of IP addresses that you can use. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our FAQs or send us an email to support at simplycast.com. Thanks for watching.